Yo folks and welcome to your channel. My name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be talking about Han Misaki right here, not to mention the character upgrades from 11.3 to 11.4. If you're wondering what that means, we have rank 11 here with three slots. Now we have the fourth slot unlocked. But let's go ahead and talk about Han Misaki first. Now, when it comes to this character, she is not exactly going to be a must pull. In fact, she's going to be a waifu based character. What does waifu mean? Misaki, you like Han Misaki in her limited form and therefore you want to pull for her. As far as actual utility, goes she has a magical defense break on her union burst and then she has her deduce right here or charm for one enemy in particular now just note when it comes to charm abilities io is going to be much better than misaki so if you actually want a character that's going to have like more charm capabilities she's not going to be your girl but magical defense is pretty cool if you jump here over in jp and we do a little bit more breakdowns you can see she's not exactly the most highly rated character when it comes to longevity and what's interesting is she's actually going to sit behind Kyoka. When it comes to high performance, her UB is going to be ideal with the magic defense that we talked about. Overall, her stats are leaning towards the low ends when it comes to defensive things. Her magical attack power is pretty decent, but overall, she doesn't speak too crazily as far as like skills goes. Her skill two is the first thing she's cast on her loop, and her skill two is going to be magical attack power increase. And like we talked about earlier, her one is just going to be seducing one character, and then her UB is is going to be just a reduced magical defense by a small amount. So when it comes down to this, you pull for Holly Misaki because she is your waifu, she's your dedication. You want her, you need her, and she is the one character that's going to make you happy in the game because she is a limited character. But outside of utility, Asao is like, oh my gosh, I need her for PvP purposes. She's not really going to be that. She's just going to be a cool character that you can have in your roster as far as a collectible unit. When it comes to other things and looking at Miss Nyara's post, right here this is going to be rank 11 4. note that makoto and ayane shinobu and kokoro you do not touch them whatsoever these are the absolute units that must stay in the ranks which is essentially 9 6 for makoto 9 6 for ayane i guess 10 6 if you really need it but then you also have shinobu right here at 8 6 and then kokoro at 10 2. this is summer kokoro in particular by the way not normal kokoro in case you guys are wondering and as far as the other characters goes yes there's going to be different optimal ranks depending like whether it's 9 6 or 10 6 i'll leave that up to you guys but the only character that i'm desperately worried about is really kauri because kauri is going to be one of our big time dps's when it comes to clan battle and it's finally time for her to actually be upgraded to 11 4 without hesitancy and that's mostly because she's going to be gaining 11 percent attack which is going to be huge for you know a one minute and 30 second fight against the clan battle just note that she is going to be losing some tp if you want to leave her at 9 6 feel free to do so but in my opinion, she's going to be really gay. You can also do rank 10, 5, no middle left. And you can essentially get greedy with an extra UB. It's really up to you. That's going to be a nice usage. But overall, she's going to be pretty decent. And right here, you can see a lot of the other units. 11, 5 is going to be more beneficial. Like Eriko and Summer Peckering because they're going to be getting more TP. Now, when it comes to other characters like Erisa and Susana, it is going to be a little situational in the sense that 9, 6 might be a little bit better for these two artists. Archers, but 11.5 is going to be their ideal ranks because Ares is going to get more accuracy and then Susana is going to get more TP overall. But when it comes to like these two archers, honestly, you can't go wrong with just leaving them at 9.6 or upgrading them. But for the most part, Kauri is the only unit, in my opinion, that you should be upgrading for CB. It's up to you at the end of the day. I guess you could also look at the tanks in case you want to do so. You know, Miyako through Shizuru, they can essentially all be upgraded. Clan Battle Phase 3 is going to be a Appearing. Now, some of you might be wondering, Bork, what's Clan Battle Phase 3 going to be like? Essentially, all the bosses are going to be hitting harder, possibly might need a tank, or you possibly might need to prep yourself a little bit differently. But we'll talk about Clan Battle Boss 3 once it actually appears, or Phase 3. I'm not really too worried about it because a lot of us are sweet chilling. But let's go ahead and cover my rough thoughts as far as like, you know, the Halloween updates with Misaki appearing, and not to mention ranks 11.3 to 11.4. Honestly, on Misaki, don't don't even worry about it and when it comes to 11.3 to 11.4 it's not really that huge of like an upgrade if anything the only character anyone should be looking into is going to be Kauri and then everything else is just worry about clan battle phase 3 and the upcoming Luna Tower now when it comes to like clan battle phase 3 I know a couple of you guys were like Bork what's the teams why didn't you talk about it firstly speaking I don't really care that much because clan battle phase 3 it only matters for maybe like the top 100 clans like those are the only people really competing 
when it comes to like maybe like the top 1000 or the bottom like you know 100 and so on and so forth to like 5000 like no one's really trying that hard we're just jumping in and trying to get an actual hit in clan battle i was just happy in my previous clan battle where you know i was with extreme raider and the folks at essentially my clan or guild i can't remember the name but the most important part thing is people we just wanted them to attack and if people got to attack and people got to use the most efficient team that was the only thing that mattered as far as like being like oh my gosh you need to manual you need to run this specific team where it's like you need to have like you know your makoda at nine six or whatever that's really cool for like clan battle three but honestly only people competing at the very top end links really care about maximum efficiency i can say without a doubt like the bottom 100 and below folks are just really just trying to get their hits in and going from there like i know a lot of people want to try hard in clan battle and let's go ahead and show off the clan that i'm in in case you guys want to like join me in my endeavors going to be fugs right here i love this clan just because we get to chill out not really worry about anything and not to mention september clan battle is still sort of tallying i think we got like around 200 something maybe 100 something personally speaking i had a wonderful time i love being in this retired sort of phase i love just not taking like princess connect seriously if you guys want like high-end content where i'm just like bleeding edge and trying to try hard that's not the content that i'm trying to provide on this channel personally i just want to play princess connect 30 minutes a day just enjoy my time essentially have like the white foods that i have and you know see how they get stronger over time i am not in part of the phase where it's like oh i need to be top 100 or i need to be top 1000 of arena or whatever the only reason why i'm playing princess connect is legit for the community and for the folks who watch this channel i personally think i'm going to be reducing the content when it comes to youtube maybe to two or three videos a week because i feel like that sort of lines up with my schedule with everything sort of occurring with school with my work and like my other stuff that i'm covering but if you want to watch me on other places feel free to check out my other channel i will have it channel notes and descriptions but personally speaking i just want to enjoy gotcha games and just have a chill time i'm not here to sweat i'm not here to show you the most maximum efficiency things i'm just trying to have a good time and we'll probably have a stream and talk about it more in the upcoming days my days of trying to give you the most optimal and efficient content to be part of like the top 10 or top 100 plans in princess connect those days are essentially done and you can essentially find like that sort of high-end content with your own clan i know like clan battle when it comes to this a lot of people are sort of gatekeepy in the sense where we have like certain timelines you have certain team members you essentially have certain lineups and certain ways you deal attacks in order to deal maximum efficiency damage i understand why people are sort of gatekeepy when it comes to princess connect because i know a lot of people spend endless amount of hours i know clan leaders essentially don't even sleep they'll sleep like maybe one hour a day throughout the entire week trying to get everything sort of situated and some clan members you know they might sleep even less and then some clan members they might sleep like you know a full 12 hours because they're not try harding as much but when it comes to princess connect i know it's a very like leadership oriented game where essentially like the people who are trying their best will be trying their best but personally speaking i like to treat princess connect in a more casual end i like to essentially have you know just more free time and i like to see like how this content evolves over time and i just want to see how this game evolves with the community over time and when it comes to pulling for waifus like such as halloween misaki right here just enjoy yourself at the end of the day because when it comes to princess connect it's really just a waifu collector the only time things get serious i guess is when clan battle appears and we'll talk about like luna tower as it's going on but i'm not here to sweat i'm not here to show you like the most possibly infinitesimally like most efficient thing to do when it comes to rank but i hope you find this content enjoyable and i hope that we can enjoy princess connect as a community together because that's essentially my goal i just want to make princess connect content and no one is paying me trust me crunchyroll has never sponsored a single video the only reason why i play princess connect is because you guys watch this and because you guys enjoy this if you guys stop enjoying this you know you guys don't want like the princess connect content more than happy to sort of walk away from this because the only reason why i'm making youtube videos is because of y'all because you guys continue to support me because you guys want to watch this content but we'll talk about that more in another stream hopefully you guys found this video helpful with halloween misaki essentially being not the greatest character and 11 for essentially being a stress-free rank and the only character that you really have to upgrade is going to be kauri right here anyways if you made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch
Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we hit 27,500 subs, we're doing giveaways. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. Enjoy your time in Princess Connect and see you guys in the next one.